I was recently on the phone with an internet service provider whose name shall remain unspoken <laughs> uh, because they promised me that they would give me their mediocre internet for one price, A, and then they charged me B. And I don't think it's that surprising to learn that B was bigger than A. <laughs> Hence why I was on the phone with them. I was hoping that I could perform some mathematical miracles and make A equal to B, or rather B equal to A. Um, which reminds me of the first of the axioms of zermelo frankel set theory. Uh, for those of you who don't know, zermelo frankel set theory is kind of the pedantic foundation of modern mathematics. Uh, to get a good idea or a rough idea of what it's like, there's only really two things you need to know. First, it exists, uh, and that is the symbol for it exists. Uh, second, this is how you represent the number two using the axioms of the Rankle set theory. <laughs> In English, it reads, the set that contains, the set that contains, the set that contains nothing, together with the set that contains nothing. So, um, the first axiom of zermelo frankel set theory says that two sets are equal if they contain the same elements, and elements can be things like numbers or mathematical uh, objects or whatever. Um, so we have the situation where um, the internet service provider was providing the same service, the same set of services, namely internet, for two different prices. It doesn't take a genius to tell that if A is not equal to B, that uh, we are violating the first axiom of zermelo franco set theory. So at this point, I maybe should have been concerned, but I, I pressed on. I continued to ask for price A. And the answer I got was that what we can offer is what we offered. Now, you might be disappointed in the limited offerings of the uh, still unnamed internet service provider. But I was horrified for, horrified for a different reason. This is because the second axiom of zermelo frankel set theory says that a set cannot be a member of itself. This is not allowed. It leads to contradictions and paradoxes, which we don't like. And uh, I believe if you'll think about this carefully, <laughs> what they could offer, they said, was all that they could was all that they offered. But what they offered was, by necessity, a member of the set of things that they could offer. This, this is not going well for the, for the second axiom of zermelo frankel set theory. Um, so I did what any natural, normal person would do, and I said, let me speak to your manager, which is nerd code in this case for I think your working axiomatic system is crap. Um, so just to put things on, this, on the same page, I'm gonna get a little bit more specific now. I'm gonna actually give a value, this is not the correct value, but this is a value in your minds for what the value A was. I was thinking that I was, they had told me I, I should pay $40 for internet, and then I got a bill for $50. And uh, so I told this to the manager, and he did nothing to improve the situation. He instead suggested that he could give me internet plus a router for $45. <laughs> now you might think this is an improvement, but then I, uh, I asked another question. So could you give me internet plus the router, but just not send me the router? for $45? And the answer was no. Um, and this is a problem for the third axiom of zermelo frankel set theory, <laughs> which says that you should be able to make a, any subset of a set should be a valid set. So no good here. You can't just have the internet part. Oh, and, and this also trivially implies that the sixth axiom is violated as well. So um, check that one off on your list. So now, you see a trend. <laughs> the, fifth, the fifth axiom actually violates that trend because the fifth, fifth axiom is about how you can combine uh, elements of sets together to form new sets. And internet companies are really good at doing this. I think they call it bundling. <laughs> so uh, check one for the internet companies. We're gonna to jump to the seventh axiom, which is indeed violated by ISPs, but it's also violated by uh, pretty much everything else in the universe. Because as a physicist, I can tell you that in our roughly 
um, non-continuous and finite observable universe, you can't have infinite things. And you can't even have something like an infinite lack or absence of customer service, uh, because that would require the possibility for an infinite amount to be lacking. So we also cross off the seventh axiom of zermelo frankel set theory. Now, there was still something that was bugging me. I don't know if you can guess what it was. Um, let me go into yet a little bit more detail. So the manager had in fact told me that the uh, internet plus router deal for $45 was $45 because it was $40 a month for the, for the internet and $5 a month for the router. So um, this means that we now know what the range of possible services they would offer is, which includes you know, internet for $40, internet for $50, TVs, telephones, Wi-Fi wi routers, etc. cetera. Uh, so internet for $40 is clearly an element of the set uh, of internet plus router, which is clearly an element of the set of possible service combinations. There are other possible service combinations, which include just internet for $50, the uh, bundle over there, and other such things. But we know that internet, just internet for $40 is not, according to the yet unnamed service provider, a possible service combination. However, there's a problem because um, the set of possible service combinations should necessarily contain all possible combinations of the possible services. Um, something like this and more. more. This is called, in, in set theory, this is called the power set, and zermelo frankels set theory has an eighth axiom which guarantees the existence of the power set of a set. And because the power set here does not exist because it doesn't have the uh, $40 internet. We've also violated the eighth <laughs> axiom of Sir Melo Frankel set theory. So let me remind us, oh wait, sorry. The eighth also violates the fourth, just trivially. So this is where we sit with um, the still unnamed internet service provider that has succeeded in violating all but one of the axioms of Sir Melo Frankel set theory, of the foundation of modern mathematics. Those of you who are familiar with zermelo frankel set theory will recall that there is, in fact, a ninth axiom which is often paired with it. You only need to know the name of this to realize that no one is going to think an internet service provider is going <laughs> to satisfy this axiom. So I was, at this point, I was very close to despairing. I almost despaired, except except that despair cannot be constructed without the axiom of subsets. You have to be able to lose something to despair. And so instead, I remembered something important. I remembered that even if all the axioms you hold dear are violated, that doesn't mean there is no logic or reason out there in the universe. What's true in the mathematical world is variable. It depends on what axioms you hold to be true. And so I said, hang on. Mr. Manager, I would like to get the $45 option, no, which consists of the $40 for internet and $5 for the router. And then I would like to send you back the router so I don't have to pay for it anymore. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that's the same thing as the thing I tried earlier where you, like, I asked him to not send me the router in the first place. But you are using the wrong axioms. <laughs> you, know what, you know what the guy on the phone told me at that point? He said, I can't tell you you can't do that. <laughs> and you know what? For somebody, for somebody who, is, who likes to be pedantic, there is no greater invitation than, I can't tell you you can't do that. Thank you.